Chris James, the journey, the man, the myth, the legend. Being an educator, the thing that I saw automatically was his love for the arts, being an art teacher, and also his love for youth and how they express themselves. And so I've seen him as he's gone on that journey from being someone who rented out venues and someone who, who put together great uh, exhibitions of talent to someone who has become a master writer, someone who's become a master performer, uh, who has competed on a national level, who brings all those experiences back to Little Rock or to wherever he goes and shows the youth how to do it in their own lives. And that's what I appreciate. I think Chris James is one of the most impactful individuals simply because his entire existence now with his interactions with students and, and, and individuals by and large is for his art form to help facilitate a change in the community. Uh, we are very grateful to have Chris James a part of our scholarship competitions. Um, he is our MC for our um, slam poetry competition and ignites the crowd and energizes the students and gets them comfortable and ready to perform um, a very personal piece in front of an audience and that as well as is translating that energy to get them to to pull out all of that uh, that personal information that is that makes them vulnerable in front of individuals and, and is a very scary thing but helps in that self-actualization of that student. No matter how much you attempt to metamorph into metaphors and compare yourself to things you are like you will never fit in. Wow. Because you are a circle, well-rounded, 360 degrees of perfection. Mm. And society's perception of what beauty is will attempt to anorex your self-esteem until there's nothing of you left. I got to know Chris James a couple years ago. We were in this program called Poetry Saves Lives. And I went down to the library one day, and one of my friends was out there just like, hey, man, this guy's coming to do poetry here. I was like, cool, cool, cool. And I met him. He was a real cool dude. And I didn't really, at first, I didn't really too much like him. But then it, it's like I figured out who he was. And it's kind of like he helped me with a whole lot of things that I was going through personally. And like he really influenced like my poetry. And basically, poetry was always, always my outlet and my way of escaping. So he helped me grow in that. So basically, by him helping me grow in that, it helped me be able to become more comfortable and more honest with myself. Uh, I watched Chris James work with a group of students at Brady Elementary School a few weeks ago. And he had begun uh, working with them to do a poetry slam and to help them with creative writing. And we watched the culminating event. And I watched these children get up on the stage and they were so poised and they were so engaged with Chris and they presented themselves like little adults and I was amazed at what Chris could do in just a short period of time. Um, I grew up, I'm a visual artist and I grew up doing visual arts kind of throughout school and I had the pleasure of having that in my curriculum um, but I'm a visual person, I learn visually and I think that it's really important for kids to have the ability to learn in a variety of mediums, um, be it poetry, singing, dance, art. And I think that having that in arts classes as well as in the general curriculum is really important to help the, a wide range of kids learn. I feel like uh, art has existed separate from education for a while, uh, at least ever since the advent of sort of the modern context of education, how we sort of approach uh, the way we provide children with an experience which we call learning. Um, we've seen it as an extracurricular for so long that we've forgotten the impact that a tactile response can have on a child. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with Chris James for the past school year and I've seen him work in four different elementary schools in classrooms and then also in our grade-wide poetry slam. Um, I've seen him work one-on-one -on -one with students and he's really great at being relatable with a wide range of students, it, be it their backgrounds different than his, their stories of upbringing different, um, but he makes a really comforting environment for all the students to learn in which I've noticed students who might be shy and not good at public speaking, they really blossom at the end of 
each week of his residency and I think that is a unique experience that a lot of the students don't get in the classroom. And we're so fortunate to have him on our roster. He's been with us since 2009 and I'm going to engage him with uh, Poetry Out Loud. He's going to be one of our judges in the 2016 Poetry Out Loud contest and he's also going to serve as a panelist on my upcoming arts education roster panels and I'm just so pleased that he is part of the Arkansas Arts Council. And that helps them in all ranges of self-confidence and teamwork with their classmates. He makes a really great environment where the students get to help each other um, and they all applaud each other even though it's kind of a competition setting. They all work as a team and are excited when one of their own presents their poem. I work with students all throughout my community, all throughout my state, and in after school programs, in, in school settings. Um, and I've seen the, the, the most shyest students become something beautiful, become something big, once they were presented something different um, and a license to be creative. Um, I've seen students become something so amazing, you know, and, um, and I think every school in America needs that. Every student needs that. Every student need, needs that opportunity. They just need the opportunity to be expressive. They, they need someone in their lives, in their education background, wherever, someone to come to them and say, hey, be creative. No, no strings attached, no rules behind it. Be creative. Be yourself. Say everything that you want to say through poetry, through art, through painting, through music. Say exactly what you want to say. And, and that's not being said enough, you know, and, and a lot of these young people have amazing talents, but, but I don't think, I don't believe that, that um, education uh, systems that are in place today uh, nurture those um, artistic abilities in, in our young people. And if we do, um, that's when we'll begin to see our young people uh, thrive in education. We'll see them thrive as, as human beings and as intellectuals, and as free thinkers. We need art, we need art in education, we need it. Well, to me, arts and education is important because of what we learned from our daughter, Thea. And <clears throat> she uh, started her junior year of high school uh, with not a lot of confidence in, in what she, uh, in her scholastics, and, and she decided on a whim that she'd do some arts and, and she did drama and dance and those kind of things and that and that literally gave her the confidence to uh, do better in school to have better relationships with her friends to you know just expanded her world my my goal behind integrating arts into education is to impact the, the lives of young people um, poetry saved my life uh, without poetry, I, who knows where I would have been in life. Uh, without being being introduced to to the concept of art and and opening my mind and being creative, I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be me. And, um, so art has made me happy. It, it has taken me on journeys um, across the U.S. It's taken me on journeys in my mind and in my creativity. And I, I want to share that same passion, that that same that same reality with young people all across the world um, because I know how important it can be. Our mission is about uh, the arts and about education and about young people and um, uh, we've seen over 14 years example after example of young people who got engaged in drama and and then all of a sudden they just took off and everything seemed to change in their lives for a positive way. This act of violence was not just a spur of the moment thing, I mean, this goes way back. Back to my first day of kindergarten when the teacher laughed at me because I had on clothes that were a little too oversized for my small, hunger-stricken body, not knowing that daddy and mommy only spent their money on their next fix, so they had no more money left to buy me new clothes that fit, so instead I just wore daddy's. 
Back to the many conversations that fathers will have with their young black boys describing to them that they are unarmed, unenlisted soldiers fighting the world and fighting the odds, telling them that the day that they are born, the loved ones are already preparing for their funerals. I mean, I did this for the pain that Martin Luther King Jr. felt in his voice when he gave his I Have a Dream speech, knowing that us black folks are too naive to change. I did this for the people who were too whipped by the system of slavery to even try to fight for a change. This was more than just a hate thing or a race thing. This was a payback thing. And I felt that as if the only way that I could fulfill that need was as if I took out a gun and unloaded it into this broken society. Discovering a new art form or expressing themselves, finding another way to self-actualize um, beyond the context of what they know is, is, is so important, it can't be stressed enough, um, the importance of that. And again, I, I know I always go back to the energy of, of the thing, but it's uh, to reconcile one's art form or an artist's art form. And, and work in the community and their lives and combine those two together where you're living united within that scope and that concept of helping to change people's lives. It is um, very powerful and, and uh, um, you know you can just you can just see the examples and follow them like a trail. Back to Chris James. Well I've known Chris James now for several years and Chris is a prime example of how the arts can motivate and can uh, can be that spark to help people move forward in their lives. Um, he has impacted this community at the ground level, and not a lot of programs do that. I mean, uh, working with kids right at the ground level, helping them in their lives, helping them believe in themselves, find something that is uh, important to them in their lives, and how to express themselves, and. Uh, uh, I admire Chris in so many ways, but to me it's his tenacity to make a difference in other people's lives that is the reason he's so successful.